welcome. Welcome to the Heart Fit series. I'm Annie, and you've pressed play, and you've come to join me. You're curious how to take care of your body in the most delicious of ways. Yes, that's what I said. You are here to increase your muscular and cardio endurance, increase your flexibility and mobility, and also work on some mindfulness, putting it all together for the body, mind, and spirit. So don't be shy, keep pressing play, come on in and join me, and let's go. Today you're gonna to learn about the stability ball and how to use it and incorporate it into your life. To give you some guidelines, I'm five foot eight and I'm sitting on a 65 centimeter ball. The other ball here is 55 centimeters and it goes roughly up to about someone that is tall as five foot five. And these balls five foot six and higher. You can always add more air. Just be careful when you inflate it that you don't over inflate it. You want to find your body when you sit on the ball with your hips either at a 90 degree angle as I am or slightly higher than your knees with your hips so that you don't put too much load on your knees when you are doing say a bouncing exercise on the ball and the load goes onto your knees and also just for comfort when you're sitting at a, a desk. That being said, I hope that after you learn how to use the ball in certain exercises, that you use your ball in your daily living, either at your office desk, watching TV, playing games, some people play games on their videos, or uh, at the dining room table. Can you imagine a dining room table full of stability balls all around? That would be a cool sight, I think so. So come on in, bring your ball, and let's get started. Well, hello and welcome. Now that you've learned about the stability ball and what size to use, let's begin. Start marching it out. Thank you for joining me and pressing play today. I'm so proud of you. Inhale up through your nose and exhale. Like you're blowing in a straw when you exhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Hip rotation right here. Balance on the other side and go toe, heel, toe, heel. Four, three, switch it other side. Balance on this side. Keep the supporting knee bent. And let's go four, three, step touch right here. Here we go. Step together. Good job. Just warming up the body to prepare it safely to go with the mind that's already ready to go. And warming up to body temperature, increasing the heart rate safely. Four, three, two, let's go over there, two steps, here we go, two, together the side, two, pull it in with your arms, great job. Let's do that two more times, two, one more time. Single step touch here. For four, three, hamstring curl. So just kick your heel back towards your butt. Keep the supporting knee bent all the time. Four, three. Now single knee straight up. Arms come to the side. Great job. I can see you. Four, three, single step touch here. Let's go. Step side to side, step side to side for four, three, two steps again, two, and two. Just two more times, two, and one. Here, single step touch for four, three, two, hamstring curl for four, four, three, two, single knees up, four, three, two, single step touch. Stay here, and let's add some shoulder rolls Warming it up with the shoulder. Now start to bring the elbow up, up. Two more. Full arm circle, two counts. Other side, two counts. Again, two. Good job. Let's go front crawl, other way. Reach back, bring it around. Reach back, breathe. Now single back crawls go back and back and back. Four more. Four. Three, two, front crawl. Reach back, reach back. 
Let's do four more together. Four, three, two. Now march it out on the spot. Oh, who's that? Do you have a friend? Go get your friend. Keep your feet moving. Now side to side, step. Step side to side. And let the ball go side to side. Always know that at any time, if you want to take a break or need to take a break, press play or keep the video going and just walk around. Walking around as your heart rate starts to increase and you may be able to hear mine and I am a heart patient as well. So it's taking these moves safely. And wait, what? What, what did you say? Did you notice that the ball is just kind of going side to side? And are your shoulders starting to feel something? Good thing we started with those mobility flow with the shoulders. Now let's go two steps. Here we go. Go two. Do a swirl in the air. Two. Look at you. Go. Breathe. Four. These are singles. Three. Two. I meant single count. Single steps now. Side to side. Side to side. Go four, three, two. Now press the ball away. Keep the legs side stepping. It's so important to warm the body up before we get moving. Four, three, two. March it out and bounce that ball. Bounce it, ball. Pick it up. Catch it. Way to go on warming up your body. Let's continue. All right, welcome back with your ball. Place it against your wall and put the small of your back against the ball. Don't be leaning back against it. Just have your body on it, but not taking your whole body weight upon it. Now standing here, take your feet away from the ball. You're pushing your low back into it, but not your upper body and not arching. Now I understand at the beginning this may feel challenging and you might not trust the wall so much, so just go to, away from the wall and back up and just see how that feels at, at first. So when it's at the small of your back, press your legs, feet are out. Now the feet are this far away so that when I do a wall sit, my knees land over my ankles and then press up. Tighten the tops of your legs, your quads. So we did this before when we were talking about, well not this move, when I said about tracking your kneecaps up towards the top of the thigh, tightening the quads, the top of your thighs right there. So we kind of snuck in a ball wall squat right there. My ball is going up and down with my body. Breathe, exhale. So go down and hold it. You can choose how low you go. You can go at the 90 with the hips in line with the knees. That may feel very intense, so you can bring it up a little bit. Pressing your low back into the ball, but again, not arching. Chest is lifted. Down and up. So maybe try 10 of those, take a break. You can take a break when you come straight to, stop, to standing. Just watch that you don't lock your knees back. If you need a break, take one leg back or take them both and go back to that starting position. Again, that starting position is standing nice and tall. Everything lined up over your ankles. Step out, step out. It's usually a nice big step out that is enough that when you come into that 90 degree or even 45 like here, to start, you can do 45s. The knees stack over the ankles. Breathe, exhale, shoulders back. Awesome job. Look what you've learned to do with your ball already. Let's do four more together. Tighten the quads. And you do not have to come all the way to standing. If you do, without hyperextending, so pressing the knees back, tighten up those quads. There'll be a quiz at the end, okay, where the quads are, where the hamstrings are, where the biceps are. I said four more. How many times ago? Let's do four. So I'm going to come just before full standing, three, exhale, two, last one, hold it. Navel into your spine, four, three, two, one, come on up. Awesome job. If you need a little break, go like this. Give a little dynamic kickback. And again, all this is after your warm-up. Okay, take one leg back. My ball is very big, so I'm far away from the wall. So when I take this one leg back, it's not going to touch the wall. Land yourself. Balance. 
single leg squat. So I've taken the back leg back so that the ball of the foot is on the floor, the heel is lifted, and assisting yourself in a one-legged squat. You're not going too deep. Pressing through that front leg, keeping the knee in line with the second and third toes of the front leg. Breathe, exhale, inhale. Two more. Nice tall structure, way to go. Last one, hold it down. Four, three, two, press up, exchange legs. Bring that leg forward, stand tall for a moment and just see how you feel. If you need to do a kickback, do a kickback. Little hamstring curl right there. To balance out, keep the one leg forward so it's not straight under the body. Take yourself into where you would go into a wall sit. Keep that front leg forward. Balance, take the other leg back. Make sure you're not slalom skiing. You're in the same line with your hips. On the ball of the foot, lift the heel. Bring yourself down and up. Exhale. Last and go. Let's do four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it down. Four. Three. Two. Awesome. Bring it up. Bring the back leg forward, then walk back. All right, so standing here, you can either let your ball go or just turn around. Take it. Go to the wall, so turn yourself to the wall. Place the ball at shoulder height. Take your feet back. So it's not too high, shoulders are down low. Hands wide, shoulder width apart. Heels come off the floor as you do a wall push-up. Bend your elbows, inhale, exhale, press back. Take your whole body with you from your ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, neck, top of the spine. Gaze straight at that ball. Press through. Inhale, exhale, press. So it adds a little bit more from the wall push-up, if you're doing modified push-ups, by adding the ball and giving some st unst unstable, instability, instability. Breathe, exhale. Try four more. Four, and any time you need a break, if you need to reposition your body, go ahead and do so. Last two. Now last one, hold it here. Four, keep your shoulders down. Three, two, press the ball. One, press back. Exhale, breathe. What I suggest is you go back and do a set of the wall sit and the push-ups and do one of each, one set of each, three times. And then let's go to the floor with the ball. All right, take your ball, place it on the floor and have a seat. Wear some running shoes or something that gives you a grip, especially if you're on a carpet or a slippery surface. And I just want you to get comfortable with your stability ball. So sitting up nice and tall, you can place your hands, if this is brand new for you, place your hands, your fingertips on the ball. Start to walk your feet out and while you do, imprint your spine and walk, push your body into the ball. You stop when your ball is under your head, neck, and shoulders, and press your hips up. So when you first get into this position, your hips might sink down. Press through your legs, your glutes, your butt. Press your hips up to the sky. I focus here. If you've come too far down and your chin starts tucking and you're like this, then bring yourself back. But don't just move your legs like I just did there, because now the weight went into my low back, and my legs are, my feet are further away from my knees. So try to stack your knees under your, over your ankles, like that 90 degree again, pressing the hips up, and then comfortable here in the neck so that the eye focuses to the ceiling. If I haven't gone, if you don't walk far enough forward and you're going backwards, same thing, you're gonna be upside down, and it's not gonna feel the greatest. So the key is to find yourself at 90, and if you can see the floor, touch the floor, that's great, not that I want your hands here. Pressing through your feet, through your legs, through your glutes, activating here to the low back and the buttocks, pressing your hips up to the sky. Now, to walk back up, tuck your chin, look down at your abdominals, peel your shoulder blades off as you start to straighten your legs, and walk back one leg at a time, and you can place your hands on the ball if you need to. So let's walk out again. And the amazing thing is, with video, you can pause, play, rewind, and watch as I demonstrated a few times, and then go at it when you can. So walking out, stopping when I know it's comfortably, comfortably under my head, neck, and shoulders, placing my hips up. 
Tuck your chin. Feel your, your shoulder blades off. Press into the ball. And again, if this were beginner, pushing your hands in, or not pushing your hands in, having your hands here stable. So placing the hands there if you need for more support. Hips up. Hear my voice as you in your head constantly when you're doing it, once you learn it too. When I stop here, I'm getting a nice little core work because I'm holding it here. Pressing the ball in, like pressing my body into the ball, but not sliding the ball, right? So on a nice surface like this floor is great. Carpet, uh, I would put a mat down on a carpet so that the ball doesn't slide on the carpet. So walking again, one leg at a time. They're not big steps. Walking yourself into what's called bridge pose. Hips are up. Let's do one more together going back. If the hands have come free, placing the hands at the side, the goal is to be able to come up, up without holding on to the ball. Now, let's come down into bridge. That is a great exercise for core, just going back and forth, starting to bring that into your day, day-to-day -day legs. So, feet are shoulders apart, they're not super wide. Super wider is, for stability, it's easier. However, we don't want to put too much strain on that back and just making sure you have it right from the beginning. So knees over ankles, pressing the hips up. Press your body into the ball. Now if I drop my hips and lift my head, neck, shoulders, I did not move the ball, and then bring your hips back up. Drop your hips and bring yourself like you're in a V and bring your hips back up. Inhale, drop the butt down towards the floor and exhale up. So it's very slow and controlled movement. Press the hips up. Four, press up. Three, at any time if you do feel like you've lost your, your form or your positioning, so if I feel like I just want to sneak those feet in a couple more inches, I'm just gonna sneak them in. And the key here, last one is not, hold it here, is not to move the ball. And lift it up. Now. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Walk back, little itty bitty steps. If you need to hold on to the ball, you can. Just watch that you're not going like this and losing your form. Press into the ball, press into the ball. Sit your body up nice and tall, exhale. I see it a lot of times, people hold their breath on the way up, so exhale. So let's go and walk out and walk back one more time together. So step it out, step it out, step it out, step it out. I'm 5'8", and I average about four steps out. Hips up. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Look down at your abdominals and your thighs, top of the knees. One, two, three, four. Slide it together, five. Nice job. I'm gonna bring my ball a little bit closer. To stretch the low back after that, take your legs wider than hip width, round your back, and bring yourself down. And any heart patients, heads above the heart, just being careful. Trying to get that round in the spine, the low back. And if you're comfortable with your legs wide and you're reaching through. Depending on how you feel, if you're okay, bring it lower. Being a heart patient myself, I'm just being mindful of how I feel every day, every moment. And knowing if I'm okay if I bring it down just lower just for a few seconds or not. And it'll tell, it'll tell me, my body will tell me. So bring it down, even if it's here and I accentuate rounding the upper body, then I created that C-shaped spine here. And if, you, if your heart is okay and doesn't give you symptoms of uh, pumping in the head and, and headaches or just dizziness, then feel free to tuck and round. I'll show one moment all the way down. Okay, rounding and then round yourself up. Fabulous job. Let's take this to the floor. Stand up, bring your ball here. You can have a mat. Place yourself down on the mat, on the floor, on your carpet. However, again, the mat, uh, a, mat uh, a mat on your carpet so you don't slide. So, place your feet on the, on the ball. At this time in my classes, I usually hear, ah, oh, yay, and it's like, oh, just enjoy this little break right now. Here, back and forth, back and forth. 
Got it. Place your feet shoulder width apart, feet flat on the ball. Place your hands by your side. Press through your feet, just lift your hips off the floor. It was just a little lift. Just lifting your hips and see how that feels. Feel the activation in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Now, if you take your hands on the floor, see how much does your ball go like this? Does it wobble around? Or can you keep it in place? So I'm not hiking my hips up really high. Right now, I'm just trying to activate the back of your legs. Now, one more, hold it and bring it down. Roll your ball, your ball beside you for a moment. And because it is video, press, you can press pause, get something to keep it from rolling away and come back. So keep your ball there. One more time with your feet shoulder width apart, bottoms of the feet down, everything in line, back down to the floor, fingertips here. So you've been clearing the floor, that's great. Once you keep doing this, if you want a little bit more challenge, try to lift up and control down. And you can go all the way down and press up, hips up, baby steps. Breathe, exhale, and down. Breathe, exhale. Going up as high as you can, controlling the move up and down. Breathe, exhale, and down. Let me fix my feet. Go up and breathe. Try not to hold your breath in the movement. Breathe, exhale, and down. Try one more. Inhale, exhale, control, 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 control. Oh, amazing, amazing job. Roll the ball back and forth. Pause here, have the leg up. Pause the move. Flex that foot, just feel the back of your leg. Switch. Yum, yum, bubble gum. It feels amazing, amazing. Can you pick up the ball with your feet? Back into the floor, can you pick up the ball? Can you hold the ball like that? You can bring your head, neck, shoulders up if you like or not. If you do, gaze down at your abdominals, holding the knees in line with the ankles at a 90 degree. You can also push the ball, push, push, push with the inside sole, inner thighs, or inner calf, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, straighten the legs, bend the legs. If your neck gets too tight, you can put your neck down. Four, three, two, hold here, lift up. Awesome job. Bring the ball to you, place it on your knees. Can you hold it there? If this, too, too, bleh, if this is too advanced, take your ball down, take your legs down one at a time and see what one leg up at a time is first. And again, the ball can be on the floor as well. One leg. If this feels comfortable and you can keep your back imprinted from your shoulders to your back into the floor, then lift both. Here's your chair. Adding on to the chair is adding the ball. Keeping the knees in line with the hips right here. And hold. It's just holding the ball. You can have head, neck, shoulders up, or you can be down. Making sure I can't sneak my hands into my low back. It stays down. I recommend holding this as long as you can. Again, not losing the form. Not compromising that at all. You can push the knees even further away a little bit so they're not just stacked over the hips. They can be further away. Control. Keeping them back down. Let's try four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Bring the ball. Bring it down. Hold on behind one leg. Bring yourself up. How does that feel? That was awesome. I'm gonna get one knee mat to show you one more move. If you have a, a cushion already, that is great. Or you can fold up a mat for your knees. Kneel behind your ball, nice and tall, 
And keeping your body in line, right from your knees, excuse me, to your shoulders. And press into the ball. Inhale, roll out. Shoulders over your elbows. Exhale, press through the ball. If that is too challenging, when you go forward, you can leave the hips over the knees and then bring the upper body back. So you can do it in two stages. Keep the hips over the knees, roll out, then drop your hips, then place your hips back over your knees, then bring your spine up from your hips. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, so chest and abs are off the ball, three, four. So round forward, or not, sorry, not round forward, lean forward, then take the hips. The hips want to go for the ride. The more body weight away from the knees, the harder the challenge. So now, lean forward, forearms are down, take your hips, hold. If you're gung ho and you want a little bit more, curl the toes under on one leg. Straighten it out. Put the knee back down. Press into the ball and try to bring yourself straight up. So either go to the one, hips stay over the knees, two, drop it, three, four. Or now, go right from the knees and roll out and hold. Relax your shoulders. Press the ball away from you. So we don't want this. I don't want your chest on the ball. I don't want your shoulders to collapse through your chest. Press away. Push into the ball. It takes practice and strength just to push forward. Push away. Activate the core. Inhale. Exhale. Aren't you glad you have a ball and that you joined today because your ball's been sitting around and you didn't know what to do with it? Or you want to go get one now, don't you? You want to, but you want to get a ball. You want to join in. You want to join in the fun. Now, instead of rolling out, land your uh, forearms on the ball, shoulders over your elbows, taking up just to show an advanced plank if you'd like. Curl your toes under. I'm going to go into staggered stance. So I'm not going to have my feet shoulder width apart, but a little bit wider to give more foundation. There. Breathe. If it gets too challenging, if or when, if or when, bring one knee down. But I'm not sneaking the knee close like that under my hip because then I just took all that upper body weight away. So just sneak it down where it would land. So you can alternate like that. Breathe, exhale. You're doing a fabulous job. So amazing. Four, three, two. Push your hips up to the wall, up to the sky. Hands on the ball. It's like a modified downward facing dog using the ball. Stretch out your back, stretch out the back of your legs, chest towards your thighs. And just folding forward like a downward facing dog, chest towards the thighs, hands on the ball, pressing the ball away. Bend your knees deeply and roll the ball towards you. Perfect. Come on down on your knees again. Lay your body over the ball. Curl your toes under and walk yourself onto the ball. Yes, walk yourself onto the ball. Find your legs nice and close together, right from the groin, from the groin to the knees to the ankles, nice and nice and close. Hands under your shoulders, roll your shoulders back, and your pelvis is on the ball. So there's right at the midline of your body. So just holding a plank right here should be relatively easy in the way that our body weight is centered on the ball right now. If I have you walk out, one, two, feel it come out to your thighs. You're still feeling the ball at the tips of your knees. So if I went a little bit too far than I want, I'll bring it back. Take your hands a little bit wider. Bend your elbows and go to the floor and press back up. Go to the floor, press back up, press the floor away from you. Tip your arm, uh, upper body down. And exhale, inhale down, elbows go wide, exhale. Did I just slip in some ball push-ups? If this is too challenging, walk yourself even back here where I just started and take your body down just to see how that feels. And if you can take that one step further, go here. Or 
take it to the ball wall push up in this video. Breathe, exhale. Try two more because hopefully you kept going while I was demonstrating. Hold. Bring your hands back together, hold in your plank and hold. If you're a heart patient such as I, I don't do these all the time, but I challenge myself just until I'm able. So knowing again how our body feels, watching our hands, looking for the signs. If there's anything that says no, then to the wall we go. This video is for heart patients, caregivers, and anyone else that wants to come on to the Heart Fit series at UHM. So showing all sorts of modifications for you. Now, going on how you're feeling, you're holding the plank. Walk out again. We're not doing push-ups. We're just going to walk out a little bit further. So now, more body weight's off the ball. Your core is going to be challenged. Breathe. Oh, we're doing some holding. Now, walk yourself back. Walk yourself back. Come on to the floor. Breathe. Exhale. Did you land on your knee now again? And change my angle a little bit for you because we're going to go a little bit further. Say what now? Say what now? Lay your body on the ball. Press through your feet. Remember when we were sitting on the ball and we were walking our body out? Now we're walking this way. Challenging our balance. Walking, walking, the ball is under my shin. Breathe, exhale. Hands are under your shoulders. That might be enough for you. It might be too much. Press the floor away. Do not collapse in your scapula. Breathe. Walk back. Body weight, body weight, body weight, body weight. Amazing. Am I on my knee back? Yes. Shall we do it again? At any time, if your wrist gets sore, you can take, or you can not take, you can have them at, the, at your end point. You can put a pair of weights there to have, to put your hands in, or you can make knuckles. Okay, again, if you're on a carpet, uh, suggesting you have a mat on the carpet uh, so that the balls tend to really slide on carpets. So we don't want you sliding any extra than what you're already doing. So you can have those. You can have, I have some bars over there that you put your hands on. So, but weights mimic that same motion. And also, press play, go to the mobility flow on wrists and learn how to warm up your wrist before we do this and then we stretch them out for two, right? It's all going to work together on these videos in your Heart Fit series. Come on out. Get your legs nice and close together. Get your nose in your mouth like me. Now walk out. Walk out. Hands under your shoulders. You're on your shins. Hold it. For those gung-ho, you can want a little bit more than holding the plank. Do a knee tuck, knee to your chest, and extend it. Knee to your chest, and extend it. Breathe, exhale, inhale, or just hold your plank. You might say, are you kidding me? No way, hold the plank while we do two more. One more, hold your plank. Walk your feet, walk your hands back. Do you find that you fall off? I'm get down. Just at the end of it. If you find when you're in that plank and it's hard to walk back, then you can take your body off the side with your legs and get off that way or go forward. I'll give an example of that because it does happen a lot in my classes and that's absolutely natural. Keeping in mind what we just did does get the heart rate going, so being aware, but challenging yourself and knowing that because of the video, you can press pause at any time but maybe make that your goal if it's something that's achievable. If not, a straight plank on the floor without the ball or one knee down or two knees down and have your plank modification. Walk back, walk out, walk back, walk out. Taking your hips with you, curl your toes under, walk back, walk here. Walk back, taking it up, walking back. Walk back, and back out, put your knees down. Many ways to modify that move we just did with the ball. Did you see where my ball went? Right over here where you can't see it. One more time, walking out. 
place your torso on the ball. This time, right here, hands right here, under your shoulders. Breathe, pelvis is on the ball. Now your legs are nice and close together. Now, turn your feet out so that your toes are pointing out as far as you can. Strong through the back. Point your toes out and bring your heels together and click your place like there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no bending in the knees, nice and strong from the lower back, the core, down the legs all the way to the feet as one unit, contracting and tightening up all the muscles from your hip right to your feet. Pressing the floor away, not letting your posture go, press the floor away. Four, three, two, and then change the feet and point the toes and cross, crisscross, straight legs again. Crisscross, crisscross, four, three, two, now click the heels together, pull the toes away as much as you can. Squeezing in the buttocks tight. Four, three, two, point the toes and crisscross. How are you doing? Three, two, cross heavily and click the heels together. Four, three, two, point the toes. Four, three, two, click your heels. Four, three, two, and click and cross. Two, four, three, two, and click the heel singles. Four, three, two, point and cross. Four, three, two, click. Four, three, push the four away, cross. Four, three, two counts this time. Two clicks there, cross, cross. Click, click, cross, cross. Feel the glutes, feel the butts, feel the butts, feel the front of the hips. Click, click. Push the floor away. Oh, I think I, I think I went in singles. Cross, cross. Let's go click, click, cross. Now single. Click, cross the legs. Click, cross the other way. Click, cross. Nice strong legs. Eight, seven. So we're doing a set of two, right? We're going click, cross is one, two. Should we count that together? Four more. Here we go. Click, cross, click, cross, click, cross. Two and one. Cross the toes, cross the legs, cross four, three, two. Hold, relax. Bend your knees, walk yourself back to your knee mat, land yourself down. Way to go, and let's get ready. You sit back on top of the ball. All right, have a seat on your ball. Take your legs out at 45 degree angles towards the corners of the room, and sit yourself to the front of your ball. So, don't sit on the very top, but bring yourself just in the front a little bit, and have yourself there. Okay, and your knees are turning out. And when I come up, I clear the ball, bringing my bottom just off the ball. All right, so basic board, balance out, support on the front, your knees and your toes follow each other. So knees in line with your second and third toes. Find support right here, lift your body weight off the ball and bounce back down. You're going to feel like a child all over again. Bounce down and up. Now, this gets too much onto your thighs, your quadriceps, or when it does, you can bring yourself down right here. Let's actually start you right here. Just give you a little bounce. See how it feels. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go up, up. And again, you can press pause at any time. Giving yourself some squats, body weight, pushing off the ball, feeling the weight of your body as soon as you come off that ball. Four, three, two, one, bounce down again right here. Are you okay? Feel those legs. Again, press pause anytime you need to, and then come and join me. Because I'll be here. Let's go up. Up. Press. And if the ball is comfortably there and you feel comfortable, go up and down with your arms. The higher the arms, the higher the heart rate. So if that doesn't work for you, always know to bring your arms down low. Do what works for you. You can have your arms right here. Right here. Four, three, two, bounce down. Hello, leg. Those are your quadriceps. Four, go down. Three, two, up we go. Here we go. Up, up, up. So one of each or both arms. Do an upper body pull down. Good. Four. Why do I keep starting with four, hey? Two, and one, which is two, and bounce. Good job. You're doing it. This is just to give you something different. 
bring yourself down for a moment. Side to side, or side to side, do a little circle walk, three hips. Bring it around the other way. Good job. So much varieties. It's endless what you can do with the ball. But learning how to balance on it is absolutely the best, the best, the best. Absolutely. Sitting here, like look how you're sitting here, waiting to go for the next set, because you know there's another set coming, right? But sitting at the table, you'll learn how, hey, I might just want to walk back and forth when you're at your desk working. I could go on and on about it because it's an amazing tool. Let's bounce up again. Ready, set, go. Up, up. Try a breaststroke with your arms. You can do one at a time. You can take your pace too. We can slow it down right here. Or both at once. Breaststroke. Who likes to go swimming? I do. Eight, seven, six. Make sure your legs are out far enough. Four, three, two, bounce down. Just so that your knees land over your ankles and they're not too close like this. They're far enough. Yes, cardio. Yes, it is. Here's a new little rhythm. We're going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, up. One, two, up. One, two. Pause and hold the body weight. See how I'm clearing off the ball. Bottom up. Here we go. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Da 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 da. Sing a song. Oh, if I start pounding this like a draw, we are going to lose count. We could be still doing this video in another year, so we don't want to do that. Hey, let's go. Eight, go. Seven, yes. Six, reach high. Five, oh yeah. Four, you got it. Three, last two. Here we go. Two. Guess what happens after this one? Stay up, get rid of your ball, squat, hold. Three, three, halfway up, down, halfway up, down, halfway up, down, eight. See, I started with eight, seven. I didn't do four this time, six. So we're only doing what little ones, five. Four knees are falling over, second, third toes, three, two. That wasn't very nice, hey, one. Last one, hold it down. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Press up, walk together. Get your ball if it went away from you. Come on back. We're gonna sit on top and do some more core. Stepping forward, so we're sitting on the top. Step forward, one step, and one step to match. Have a secure surface. So my shoes on this floor are great. I know I'm not gonna slide, and if I do, I will reposition my feet. If you have the mat on a carpet, that's great so the mat you can stick to. Uh, you can also place yourself, if I had a wall in front of me, I would place it so that my feet are up against the wall, the baseboard, to secure my feet from slipping so that when I do the work on the ball, it's my body that's moving and not the ball, and then I'm not sliding and slipping away. So as you've done that one step and the other step to match, Go ahead and lean back and exhale. You can start with your hands just on your thigh and see how that feels for you. Inhale and exhale. Now don't tip your chin up so that your neck hyperextends back. Keep it natural, neutral, in line with your spine. You can make a fist and place it between your chin and your chest and keep that space there that your eye fat focus is just naturally going straight to just below the, the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. My lumbar spine is touching a little bit of my T-spine, my thoracic. Inhale, and exhale. So hands on the thigh, or you can lift your hands up, or you can place your hands at your, across your chest, at your shoulders. The further the distance you take the hands away, from the uh, area that you're working, so this would be our abdominals. The further away the hands get, you can try as I start to move my arms, it gets a little bit more challenging. So switch that, put the other hand. If your hand is at your temple, try to keep your elbow back instead of closed in, so make it a little bit more challenging. So I'm demonstrating as I'm going through the moves with the hands, taking them a little bit further away so that you can see the difference that it's making. Again, it's key to keep those feet grounded. The ball is not moving. The ball is not moving. 
you are just bringing yourself up and down that ball. Inhale, exhale. You can press pause anytime. Take a break and then come on back. Breathe, exhale. So going back to it, both hands crossed at the chest. Take it any which way works for you. They can be right here. They can even be lightly right on the ball for support until you feel comfortable being on a stability ball. Stability balls are great, great for your core strength. I encourage sitting at a desk, doing some work on it, even if it's five minutes a day just to start. Your favorite TV show you can watch. Sitting at the kitchen table, try it. Get the whole family involved. Hold it down. Pull the abs in. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. Keep your chest open. Up and down. Little ones. Up and down. Exhale. Exhale. Maybe you'll try to go back a little bit further. Maybe you'll say, Annie, not today, but maybe tomorrow. All right, let's go. Four. Little one back. Three. Little one. Two. Little one. Hold it. Raise your arms a little bit higher. Pull your navel in. Press your body into the ball. Four, three, two, one. Bring yourself all the way up. Wow, you did that. You just did that. That's fabulous. I haven't walked you back. Have you noticed? We're going to take another step forward so that we're not going into the bridge walkout, but now when I lean back, more body weight is on the ball. Try that. So more range of motion, but then you have more body weight on the ball. So you decide if that's harder or easier. So you have more body on the ball, like I said. However, you can go back further, further, further. Just being aware we're not tipping upside down, our heads like such, keeping that chin just in a nice neutral alignment with the whole spine. Again, the hands level, so I will go over again. You can have support on the ball. You can place your hands on your thighs, up in the air. Get that range of motion. Take advantage of where we're positioned right now. Breathe, exhale. Cross out your chest. Watch as the arms move higher and higher away from the, dom ab the, the abdominals. How much more challenging it gets. One at the temple, perhaps. Breathe, exhale. So the tips of the shoulder blades, touch right there. Switch hands. Temple. These are just to show you stay at the level that works for you. Breathe, exhale. Let's take this arm up. Breathe, exhale. Always doing the best that you can do. That's all we can do every day. Show up like you showed up today. Fabulous job. Both hands up high, four, three, feel the top of the abdominals, two, last one, go back and hold, four, three, bring them chest tight, two, one, take your right arm out to the side, hello, bring it back to center, left arm out, hello, your body wants to rotate, you're not going to rotate with it, you can push pause, so I'm going to keep going for you. Pressing the back into the ball. The core is nice and strong. You're not arching. You're pushing your bow back in, pulling the navel into the spine. Now, right arm out, left arm up. <sighs> Breathe. Forward, forward. Left arm out, right arm up. Breathe. Exhale. One more time. Right arm out, left arm up. Bring it center. Out, up. Bring it center, four, three, two, bring yourself up, walk back. <sighs> Fabulous job. Did you feel that every which way? Uh, I think the angle, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer here. Okay, walk. Make sure you see my shoes. So I'm going to that lean back, so where we were, so we have more range of motion. Hold it here, and you can interlace your hands. Again, the ball doesn't move. Tap, tap, do you hear that? That is my elbows tapping the ball. Twist, but the hips are not moving. 
So it's easy to go, hey, I'm doing the move. Keep the trunk solid, sturdy, lean back, twist the waist. Twist, twist, twist. Head and neck shoulders go with you, twist. Lean back as much as you can when you do this move. Twist, breathe, exhale. Yes, you can pause, you can come up, because guess what? You've heard it a million times. I will be right here waiting for you. Eight, seven, lean back as much as you can. Go four, three, two, one, sit, hold. Come up, lean back. Hold the lean back, hold the lean back. Pull the navel in, engage the core the best that you can. Twist, twist. Ball is not moving, you're moving. After this workout, you know, if you cough, or you sneeze, or you laugh, you might go, why does that hurt? Think of me. Think of the workout you just did. Eight, seven, six. Twist, five. Twist, four. Three, you can do it. You've got it. Two, one. Hold it here, hold it here. Hold it, dear. Come up and down. Up and down. Last two. Last one. Now, step a little bit back. Keep that lean. Did you feel that? Step forward. Hold it. Step back. Keeping the engagement in the core. Step back. So when I step back, my back came off the ball a little bit that was there. See, so lean back. Go forward. Go four, three, two, one. Step back and hold, hold, hold. Lean back further. There's barely any back on the ball. Four, three, two, exhale. Fabulous job. I hope you feel just amazing and proud of yourself. And I hope you enjoyed working with the ball and I hope you make it a regular thing for yourself. Go ahead, and if your legs are together, heel to walk them out to wider than hip width, and just bend from your waist, and support onto your thighs with a flat spine first to begin with. And that that feels okay, come on down, lower, and then you can let your head tuck down, round your spine. So being heart patients, listening to your body on how you feel and how low you go. The lower the head, below the heart, has a tendency for dizziness for anyone. So just being aware for yourself. And I'm always cautious and I just listen to how my body feels. And to get that extra rounding, I know that I can go down and I just listen to my body. And it gives you the cues and it lets you know. Bring yourself to a flat spine and cross one shoulder to the opposite knee. Inhale, exhale, go the other side. Lovely down that side, right there. One side of the back. Neutral spine, tabletop, press over. Inhale, exhale, other side. Great, bring it center, bring yourself up. Heel toe, walk them in together and extend one leg. Flex the foot, toes up, bend from your waist again. And just hinge forward from the hips. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg, your hamstring, toes are up towards you. Try not to round your spine by leading with your forehead. Just bending nice flat spine from your hips, chest going forward, feel it in the back of the leg. Point your toes for the shin stretch. Relax your shoulders down. Flat spine, bring it back up, slide that foot in. Amazing job, extend the other one, flex the foot, toes up and bend forward. You can reach towards that foot if you want, as long as it doesn't turn it into a rounded spine. Let's keep that flying. The, the, let's keep the spine flat. So that we get the stretch more in the back of the leg. It helps create a deeper. Point your toes. Stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Flat spine up. Slide it in. Now this one takes a little bit of balance. Hold on to the ball for support and bring one leg up. Right now I will tell you, if this is too challenging on a ball, go ahead and get a chair and do it along with me. Press pause. I'll wait for you. Figure four stretch that is done in the stretch series on the floor and then in the chair sit series as well. 
So crossing the ankle over the opposite thigh, bring the other foot in as close as you can. And again, we're not rounding and losing the form in our spine. Hinge from your hips till you feel the stretch in your outer hip and hold it. Good job. And just breathe and relax. Inhale, exhale, sit yourself up, uncross, and try the other side. Try not to cross directly on your knee, so above or below your knee. Cross it over, balance yourself out. And if you are doing it on a chair, or again, you could do this on the floor, seated. Try it another time and test your balance. So crossing like this might be enough. And if you can add that, just a little move, flat spine from the hips. If you can, go ahead and try it. It just gives you a little bit deeper stretch in the outer hip. Hands can still be on the ball for balance, or they can come forward, whatever works for you, without losing form in your body. Straight spine up, uncross, take your arms together and behind, put them on your ball first, and then just open your chest. You did some push-ups on the wall with the ball, fantastic. Sitting up nice and tall, hands can be on the ball to open up the chest or interlace behind and pull them back gently, whatever works for you. Breathe in and exhale. Now bring the arms around, stack them, press them away like there is a miniature stability ball in between your chest and your hand. Press away, round the spine now and take it over to one side. Feel that stretch all the way down to find. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the other side. Pressing the hands away from you. Keeping the chin tucked slightly. Bring it around to the center. Press and hold. Bring it down. Slide the hands up. Exhale. Come on up. Placing your hands on a wall or on a chair for support or bring a chair along with you. The quadriceps stretch. Balance using the ball for quad stretch. This is demonstrated again in the stretch series that you can follow along for the quads. But while we're in the ball class, we're going to try to balance. Grinding through that bottom leg. If this is too challenging, go get a chair, pause, put your foot on a chair, or hold the leg behind. Make sure the knee's not in front of the other leg. Make sure it's in line with there, this knee. Tailbone tucked. Hips going forward, stretching out the front of the thigh. You did squats with the ball wall. You did lunges, single leg lunges. Let's stretch out the front of those thighs. Release, do the other leg. My ball is cooperating right now, and so is my body. So this is great. Top of the foot, tuck the tailbone, bend the supporting knee slightly. Good job. Pressing the foot down into the ball, pressing the hip forward, again maintaining that the knees are in line with each other and this isn't coming forward and bending at the hip. We need to elongate and lengthen right here in the hip flexor. Press and hold. Bottom leg, supporting leg, is working for you. Great job. Release. One arm across shoulder. And to have these stretches in greater detail, please press play and go to the individual body part to stretch it for longer periods of time. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, ragdoll hang. Tuck your chin, relax your body, soften your knees, and inhale one more time, all the way to the sky. You've got it, inhale. Exhale, what a fabulous job. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself a great big hug. Pat, pat, pat. Thank you for joining me today in a stability class. Way to go, and I can't wait till you press play again. Well, how did you do? I hope you are feeling amazing. I hope you're enjoying the HeartFit series, that you continue to join me for variety and taking care of your heart, your health, your body, mind, and spirit together. Stay well, stay safe, enjoy life, and take care of you. See you next time.